I know most of you folks know me as Jack Mosley, two-time fan of the year, but I want to especially say I'm proud of my son and his girlfriend for bringing this show to you guys. Uh, it, it's, I think it's going to be a wonderful event. And uh, I just want to thank all the people, all the support he's getting from you people, all the people that support him. Um, this is a new step for Shane, a new vision for Shane and his girlfriend, and all the uh, support, all the fans, all the Mosley backers. This is a new elite level that Shane is going to. But first, we're going to take care of Mayorga. Let me tell you what Sugar's going to do to Mayorga. In the liquid form, in the powder form, any kind of form. Too much sugar is gonna give him diabetes. He's gonna lose his eyesight, he's gonna get his legs cut off, his lungs gonna mess up, all his organs gonna be fault, uh, the kidneys, the liver. Uh, you know, how can you deal with that much sugar? You can't deal with it. Too much sugar is gonna drop you in your tracks, okay? That's what it's gonna do to you. You know what I mean? And then, I'm seven years old. You ain't built like this. You took off your shirt, and you should have went in the back room somewhere. <laughs> you, you can't deal with the motors. All the motors are built and cut up and ready to go and knock you to the ground, take the crown, and send you back to Nicaragua. Oh. Okay, you don't belong here in the United States of America talking that kind of stuff. Sugar Shane Moses has had one of the best knockout records percentage in the whole history of Boston. That includes Ali, Mohan, a jaw for me, anybody with 30 fights or more. Okay, so he's coming to knock your ass out. Cold again. And, that, and I'm telling you, knock you in the ground where you're going to lose your crown. Are your mind one? Okay? But thank you all for coming out to support this event. Because this is going to be a happening show. And I'm, I'm trying to say my power boxing style. And he will knock you into somebody's arena. And you can't stand the thing. Okay? Because, see, he can't stand me talking the way I'm talking. He's, he's getting jealous now. He's getting angry. He's getting agitated. Because I can talk shit just like he can talk shit. Say he might not can talk shit, but I can. All day long. Straight out of Watson and Compton and Inglewood and the Linwood and all the hood shit. From the hood. You can't talk that shit to me. I'm a bad brother. No, I ain't. I got a bad ass reputation for what? Hey, you need to be quiet, man. Be quiet and listen. Because that's why you're going to get your butt knocked out because you don't want to listen. All right. I'm just having fun, folks. I had to talk some stuff. I had some fun. That's all. I'm, I'm not taking anything serious. I, I just let you know I can talk some stuff, too. And I can get down. I can dance. I can do everything I need to do to get this thing done. And I'm proud of my son and his girlfriend for starting this whole wonderful program. They're going to a new height, a new level. I'm proud of my grandson. He's got six fights and five nights. Knockout. He's already starting out with knockout. So if you get the rain, he'll knock you out too. So I'll see y'all guys there. Thank you for coming out and supporting us.